Graphic pictures taken at the Kobe Bryant crash site resulted in some firefighters losing their job. The NBC4i team discovering new details in court documents filed by Vanessa Bryant and her legal team. Investigative reporter Eric Leonard joins us now with more on what he's found. Eric. Hi, Carolyn. It seems like every recent filing in Vanessa Bryan's lawsuit against L.A. County has contained some kind of new revelation about the case, this time that the L.A. County Fire Department has moved to fire two firefighters and suspend a third. This was revealed as Bryan's lawyers have asked to delay the start of the trial because they say the new discoveries show there's still much more to investigate. Vanessa Bryant's lawyers say the firefighters allegedly showed photos of dead bodies from the crash scene to their girlfriends and wives while at an awards banquet at a Hilton hotel. And according to this new court filing that includes quotes from the fire department's internal investigation, the unofficial scene photos only served to appeal to baser instincts and desires for what amounted to visual gossip. Also new, Bryant's lawyers say one of the deputies accused of flashing the photos around this bar in Norwalk was recorded on security video, allegedly bursting out laughing with the bartender after they looked closely at something on the deputy's cell phone screen. Vanessa Bryant sued last fall, alleging the photo taking and sharing amounted to a violation of her constitutional rights and was an invasion of privacy. L.A. County lawyers have asked the judge to dismiss the case, saying Vanessa Bryant isn't a victim and can't sue because the photos never made it into public view. Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and seven others were killed in January 2020 when the helicopter they were in crashed into a hillside in Calabasas. The NTSB said the probable cause was the pilot's error of flying at high speed into low visibility and losing control. The firefighters fired or suspended have not been publicly named. The county fire department says it can't comment because of the lawsuit and it wouldn't confirm whether these firefighters still had their jobs. Bryant's lawyers have not responded to our request to discuss the case since it was first filed in the fall. As it stands today, the case is set for trial next fall, uh, fall of 2021. Reporting live, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you. All right, thank you.